And I was just told that this house, the ACG Engineer, is full. So we are physically have in the house here more than 3,000 people from different groups, from governments, from engineering companies, from technology companies, from academia, from civil society, who come together both to demonstrate AI solutions, like demonstrate AI solutions from smart agriculture, or demonstrate AI solutions for entertainment, or demonstrate AI solutions for healthcare. You know, but they also are discussing how to expand that for all, how to make sure that everyone around the world can access to it. This year we're trying to bring brain machine interfaces to the fore as well, and there will be discussion and showcases of brain machine interfaces. It doesn't mean that something is going out of the fashion, it means that we're really in the show also in our exhibition. We're trying to expose people to something new, something that hasn't been seen before. What's up with you? What are you? I'm a robot. Maybe you need capture. I'm not your personal assistant. What's the difference between your personality and other robots? I'm hilarious and mean, while most robots are just boring. I think robots can make our society better by bringing more empathy. We have a lot of empathy problems with people not understanding each other, and robots, they can really listen. In the future, when they will be part of our society, we have to have some good control, basically, a good understanding. It is frightening for me, to be honest, but I think that's the future we're heading to. There is nothing we can do. The only thing we can do is we can make it so that so that we can improve our society before somebody does something bad with it. Maybe it's for sufficient, it's just like 190 US dollars. I can perform various tasks such as reading stories, playing the role of a receptionist, or even being a personal coach. C'est mon selfie robot. C'est comme ça que j'ai décidé la faire à mon image. Today we have guide dogs which can cost up to $200,000. That is not scalable. So we build the lumen glasses to replicate what the guide dog does. But if a guide dog works by pulling your hand, this actually works by pulling your head. I feel like it's very useful for blind people because um, it's very intuitive and the, the directions are very easy to follow up. So you can feel the vibration and just follow them. So you're going to get uh, my fear reaction or my stress or happiness or different types of responses. We want to get to know what are like the different activities that create higher brain synchrony. The brighter the visualizations are, that means there is more synchrony between brain regions. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.